Hello, I'm Jerry Romine, and in this video, I'll be teaching you how to buy a put option with a detailed example and walkthrough so you can see and understand how to trade this option strategy. My goal is to keep this video under five minutes and everything is free so you can just sit back and follow along. I believe we learn best by doing, and this video will be a hooked on phonics style where I walk you through this option strategy, including how to place the option order. Let's go over option basics, and this will help us with any option strategy we use. A put option gives the option holder the the right but not the obligation to sell shares of stock at an agreed upon price on or before a particular date. The strike price is the agreed upon price at which the stock will be bought or sold. The expiration date is the contract date that the option contract will expire and delta is the amount an option price is expected to move based on a $1 change in the underlying stock. So what is a put option? Buying a put is a simple bearish option strategy that gives the buyer the right but not the obligation to sell the underlying stock at an agreed upon stock price. Our goal is to profit from an expected short term decrease in the stock price. We buy the put and as the stock price goes down, our put value increases which we can sell anytime before expiration for a profit. Now the maximum loss is the price you pay for the option and this creates a net debit which is how much you pay when you buy the put. Now I normally like to buy a put with around a 0.5 delta and you'll see that in just a minute. We learn best by doing so let's walk through a detailed example and we'll start with a sample discord trade alert which gives us all of the information to buy a put option. Let's assume that we expect PayPal to go down in value and we want to buy a put. And here's our sample put option trade alert. Risky buy PayPal put. Bear positions profit if the stock goes down. Our expiration April 29th. Our strike price we're going to buy the $115 put at $4.65. Our break-even would be $110.35, which represents a 5.4% drop in the stock price. And if we look at the profit graph, this dashed line here is the current price. The so $110.35 is our break-even. And then break-even is the strike price minus the premium paid. Our maximum profit, theoretically, would be just over $11,000 if the stock dropped all the way down to zero. Our maximum loss is what we pay for the put, which would be $465. Our reasons to buy, I always like to list a reason, sell signal resistance resistance, decreased revenue, whatever it might be that helps us become a better trader. And then we've got our strategy overview and our goal is to profit from an expected short term decrease in the stock price. And then I normally like to buy a put around a 0.5 delta and then hedging. Put options can help protect against large price declines and are an important risk management tool for investors. Puts can be used to hedge a portfolio and offset portfolio losses with put gains. Now let's jump into the Thinkorswim trading platform and I'll show you step by step how easy it is to buy a put option. And if you use another platform, the process will be similar. We're now looking at PayPal, ticker PYPL in Thinkorswim. Looking at the chart, we can see that it's in a real solid downtrend. And let's say we've decided that we want to buy a put because we expect the price is going to go lower. All we do is come over here we're going to click on the trade button and then we need to select an option. Let's go ahead and try the April 29th. This shows us our option chain and our next step is we want to look for the delta that's around negative 0.5. So we can see one right here at negative 0.43. That's the 115 and negative 0.59 is the 120. And what we want to do is we're going to buy the negative 0.43 delta. So we point over to the price. It tells us to buy and we click on that and then it shows what our order is going to be. And the next step is to hit confirm and send. And this is our order confirmation dialog box. And it shows us that we're buying one PayPal expires on the 29th of April. It's a put and our cost is four dollars and sixty five cents. Our break even stock price is one ten thirty five. Our maximum profit it shows. Our maximum loss is the cost of the option four hundred and sixty five dollars. And that is all it takes to buy a put option. And that's how you buy a put option. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jerry Romine and I'm an active investor. Plus I have a discord where I provide stock and option trading alerts. And that link is down below if you want to check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below letting me know what you liked about it or what you would like to see me cover in the future. This video is part of an option series I'm creating. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Thanks again and I hope to see you soon.